The DCEU is officially gone. Well, most of the projects planned for the DCEU are. This ground shaking news came from The Hollywood Reporter. According to their sources, the studio is planning a fresh start and are seeking to leave out any baggage from the DCEU. The former regime led by Michael De Luca and Pamela Abdi tried to get another Snyderverse film out, but it looks like DC Studios will be moving on. James Gunn and Peter Safran are the ones in charge now, and while a lot of their projects moving forward will feature established DC heroes, they will most likely be recast. More rumors from the story are that the DCEU is establishing a new and fresh brain trust. This brain trust will be the one overseeing the DCU and the connections between franchises. In fact, the heads at DC Studios are already scouting for that brain trust. A big factor that is affected by this news is the Justice League. With the new cast of actors, the DC will try to launch a new core of heroes to lead the team. This means the recast for Ezra Miller's Flash, and that recast was probably the easiest decision CEO of Warner Bros. Discovery David Sizlov has made yet. This means his solo film coming out in 2023 will be the conclusion of his run as Barry Allen. Batman might be a more tricky problem for DC with Batman 2 in development. Will the DC you recast Batman for their universe, or keep Robert Pattinson's version of Bruce Wayne. Ben Affleck will most likely be done after The Flash along with Ezra Miller. Cyborg is another recast that DCU will also focus on. A lot of new heroes were also introduced in Black Adam, so where does the future lie for them? So far, Black Adam 2 will not be moving forward. This is a big blow to fans who were hoping for that Black Adam vs Superman movie, or that Shazam crossover, all of that is being tossed aside now, and I bet you believe that Dwayne Johnson is not very happy right now. And as for Henry Cavill, I think his his future is very much in doubt for DC moving forward and back in October fans were riding on such a high but it looks like Henry Cavill will not be part of DCU moving forward. Many fans, including myself, were excited to see a possible sequel to Man of Steel. It looks like Superman will also be recast for the new Justice League movie. Also, a third Wonder Woman film was scrapped by the studio, so it looks like Gal Gadot might also be gone. Basically, every DC property is now outside the main canon for the DCU. This news rocks so many fans and it just leaves the DC in such a big mess like before. I think this almost ripping up the band-aid from DC is apparent with the new leadership in charge. James Gunn and Saffron might be wanting that fresh slate and cleaning house might have been the trick. Having older characters from the Snyderverse show up in Gunn's projects would seem out of place. The tone between both Suicide Squads alone felt very different and the Snyderverse is somewhere that Gunn doesn't want to explore. At least not right now. James Gunn went on to social media to address the latest developments from DC Studios. He quoted on his Twitter page the following. So as for the story yesterday in The Hollywood Reporter, some of it is true, some of it is half true, some of it's not true, and some of it we haven't decided yet whether it's true or not. James Gunn might not be giving fans a full answer on the rumors, but he went on to reassure fans of their concerns in the following quote. Peter and I chose to helm DC Studios knowing we were coming into a fractious environment both in the stories being told and in the audience itself, and there would be an unavoidable transitional period as we moved into telling a cohesive story across film, TV, animation, and gaming. We know we're not going to make every single person happy every step of the way, but we can promise everything we do is done for the service of the story and in service of the DC characters we know you cherish and we have cherished our whole lives. This news probably leaves fans shaking their heads at first. Before I give my final thoughts, I'd like for you to give this video a thumbs up and hit that like button. Drop a sub and help me get that subscribers number going up. I was hoping for the DCEU to continue telling their stories with older characters that we've seen in the last decade or so, but Gunn and Saffron are starting fresh with a new 10 year plan most likely. James Gunn has high expectations and ambitions for the DCU, so giving him a fresh start might have been the right call. Both Gunn and Saffron are expected to present their plans to Warner Bros. Discovery, so I'll be covering any reactions from that event. A lot of DC fans wanted a whole new era for the Justice League heroes, so this news might have satisfied that camp. I'm honestly just hoping for some stability and a real plan from DC moving forward. But share your thoughts on this news coming from the DC Studios in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you stuck around long enough to drop a like. If you did subscribe, tell me in the comments below. And share your thoughts on topics like this one and others by clicking on the right side of your screen. I appreciate your support, and this has been Joel from Real Talk Movies. See you soon.